My name is Heather Martino, and I'm the founder of Hashtag That, a B2B service that helps social media professionals inform their hashtag strategies. Some of you may be familiar with the recent hashtag, Bring Back Our Girls. Michelle Obama first tweeted this on May 7th, and since then, it's gotten 58,000 retweets. But what you may not know is that it initially was tweeted by this guy on April 23rd, just 10 days after the initial abduction of the girls, and partially in response to the fact that it was not getting mainstream media coverage. He has just under 1,000 followers, but by using this hashtag, he was able to get this to become viral, and he incentivized and organized a conversation around this topic that reached all the way to the White House and the world. This is the power that hashtags hold. But with all great power comes responsibility. <laughs> Ann Coulter here tweeted this photo of herself, uh, mocking the photo that Michelle Obama tweeted. And it says, bring back our country. And the Twitter sphere was not happy with this. And they consider this a hijacked hashtag. And they uh, retaliated by photoshopping it and tweeting some of their own stuff. <laughs> So understanding how to use hashtags effectively is something that many people and brands need help with today. That's where hashtag that comes in to help them harness the power of hashtags. We are the only source that offers original news, reporting, and analysis on hashtags today. We offer tips and tricks for designing your hashtag strategy, like how to avoid the next bash tag, and um, the importance of using capital and lowercase letters as well. Our next section is our feed, and it contains the top trending hashtags and is sortable by social platform, geolocation, and industry. Our third key feature is our dictionary. We define the top trending hashtags of the week, and we're building a robust dictionary where you can eventually surface user-generated content. If you click on a specific hashtag, it will take you to a page where there will be a feed for that hashtag, and you can drill down even further with related hashtags, top influencers, user-generated definitions, related Twitter chats, and the like. These are our three main features. We offer tips and tricks, news, we offer our feed, and we offer our dictionary. Now we serve social media professionals that are looking to grow their brand and are producing content on a daily basis to get their company's content discovered. We also serve startups that are looking for a cheap and effective way to get their content noticed and grow their businesses. And our third primary use case is journalists that are looking to search for hashtags as a content discovery tool and to grow their own brand as well. Part of our marketing plan is that we are working on becoming a Twitter certified partner program. We have already engaged in discussions with them and they've given us some great feedback. And that would then enable us to have partnerships with newsrooms around the country to beta test our product. We're also looking to demo at more tech startup events like this one here. Our revenue streams include consulting. Uh, we offer a highly specialized audience, so we're confident that we can have advertising and branded content, as well as speaking engagements. And the data we're collecting can definitely be used to produce ebooks, white papers, and the like. And we're also working on building a premium model that allows users to set up that allows users to set up their own accounts where they can actually track a hashtag and they can search for and see specific hashtags related to their beats. And this is a mock-up of what that would look like. Some key points is that we have already partnered with General Assembly. A team of UX design students has been working on our site and they helped us with our new logo and the whole overall architecture. Uh, we are working with Twitter to hopefully pilot in, in newsrooms around the country, as I mentioned. And right now we have an advanced algorithm that is collecting 4,000 trending hashtags per week. This is our team. We have our developer, TC McCarthy. He is a journalist and he also has many years of experience in the sphere. We have the three in the middle are a team of UX designers. We also have a biz dev consultant that works for a tech startup in New York City. And myself, I am a journalist. I've worked at many startups um, and I've been using social media for over 10 years now. I'm a very early adopter. What we need now are more content producers. We need people who can help analyze our data. And we want to organize our first event to really help people understand how important hashtags are. And later, when we do build a critical mass and we're able to get people to help crowdsource our dictionary, we will need more technology, which includes servers, developers, and the like. Please join me in building the Wikipedia of hashtags. Thank you very much, and I'll now take questions. Hey, uh, hi.
Um, great job. Thank I you. really liked the product. I really can see its applicability, and I think I saw more of it as you started to explain more of the features that you were building out. Um, the one thing that I felt like was a little bit missing, a little bit as a comment, but I'm sure you have examples of, and I would, I think if you were to update this it would help, is you are pitching yourself as a B2B service. The example that you started with, while it's sort of very newsworthy in, in recent news, doesn't really speak to the pain point of a social media marketer for a business or an enterprise trying to uh, use uh, hashtags effectively to, uh, to, to market their service. And as such, I think the features weren't really connected to sort of their journey. And I think it would be really helpful to bring to life, you know, almost uh, one or two personas of here's somebody who's working at an enterprise trying to market a new product. They're having some trouble with this. Here's, you know, you follow them as they use our different features all the way through our consulting services to an, uh, sort of a positive outcome that, re that is realized. And, and maybe that's avoiding a, you know, a Twitter disaster, but it's also, I think, more than that. I think it's actually, you know, they care about demonstrating their own return on investment to their corporate. So I feel like that's the one, I think the example that was used is, it's on our minds, I think a lot of us have heard of it, but at the same time, it's not entirely connected to, to whom you're trying to market the service. And I think that, that was a little bit of a miss there. Okay, thank, thank you for that. We, we actually, we do have like a two-pronged approach, whereas we do see ourselves as being a B2B service, but right now, because we have this opportunity with Twitter, we are targeting journalists in the short term, um, primarily just to get their feedback and have them beta test our product, sure. but you do make a really great point, and uh, my initial example was including um, helping the NYPD with their hashtag, hashtag my NYPD, so yep. maybe I'll lead with that one next time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> cool. The idea certainly seems trend right and, you know, very timely. Did you say as part of your presentation that there, there weren't others doing this or trying to address this? There's no agencies or anybody? No, there's actually nobody right now covering hashtags as a beat. You can go to like Mashable or TechCrunch and you can read articles like top five tips or they can tell you like what happened with you know Ann Coulter, but there's no one place. And there's a bunch of other players in this field right now that are doing different things where you've got um, trends map over here. They're, they're pulling up a map of where all the hashtags are trending. You've got along the top, um, scene.co actually, they came to our demo night last week and they're looking at bringing content from different uh, platforms in like our feed does. Um, you've got people that are specifically geared towards events, like here. Um, you've got this place, Right Tag. What they're looking to do is help people really market, uh, help people choose their hashtags better so they have more chance of being discovered, um, find the origin of a hashtag. And this is probably uh, most similar to what we're doing. It's Tag Def, but they're really focused on memes, I guess you could say. Um, if you see some of the examples there, um, you know, MCE, My Crush Every Day, they're not targeting the definitions for really concrete journalism and newsworthy stuff. And we're looking to really bring together the best of what a couple of these guys are doing and make it our own. Yes? That's a very good question. So um, social media marketers, uh, they're paid because of their knowledge and their expertise and they understand this whole thing. They're probably your highest value is people with the budget to spend on this service. Mm -hmm. Yet equally, there's a perception that they know, they should know about this stuff anyway. Right, so if I had one of my social media marketers come to me and go, I need to spend, you know, $10,000 on this, but like, you to know this stuff already. How do you get around that barrier? How are you going to mark this as a professional tool that even the most established professional would still be able to find value from? Sure. I mean, I would actually argue that a lot of people are not social media savvy at this point. Um, and gone are the days at the point where companies are hiring interns to do social media. They're realizing that this is something that's really important for their brand. Um, but I think it's something that people are like, oh, you'll learn on the job, or you just kind of get chastised if you do something, if you tweet something that's not you know, good for the company. But I think organizations will find value, and that's why they'll come to our events, they'll hear me speak more about hashtags, and they'll find value in the new service that we provide and realize that they can come to us and we will help them with the consulting because I think there is a misconception that everyone can do social media. Yes? Heather, I just wanted to compliment you because I saw an earlier presentation of yours in which you were, you were talking at about 5,000 words a second. Yes. Uh, you really did manage to slow yourself down. Thank you. It was obvious. I did want to ask one question though. The three legs of your stool, one of them is journalists. Mm -hmm. have you, do you have any qualms about relying on journalists at a time when journalists have zero money to spend on things? 
Well, that's the whole point of hashtags, right? It's a growth hacking strategy. You're not having to pay you know, thousands of dollars to take out an ad in the New York Times to promote your business. You can actually go online and use hashtags to connect with the people, the highly specialized audience that you want to connect with. And I think that's the great thing about hashtags. They're free. Right, but you're, you're offering a subscription service to journalists. Right, eventually we will do a premium model. I'm just wondering if you're, if you're worried about the, the, the fact that in, in journalism there's like no money to spend on anything. Right. I mean, and that, it is a B2B service. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be charging newsrooms or journalists individually right now. We haven't worked at all the fine details. We really want the journalists to beta test our product for us at this point because we have this unique partnership with Twitter. But from there, we'll see what happens and we'll hopefully be able to get some more revenue from this. Yes? Um, there's been a lot of uh, discussion lately that Twitter is looking at sort of diminishing the prominence of hashtags in general while seeing them as being too user on the friendly and a lot of people just don't get them. Um, that this doesn't mean hashtags are going away as a mechanism, but there may be no less or less visible. Um, what is, I mean, I was wondering if you've thought about what that means for you since you're identifying so closely with the hashtag itself in, in everything that you're doing here. Uh, what does that mean if sort of Twitter is like hiding it a little bit or, or, or turning it into something else? What does that mean? Sure. Well, there has been a lot of speculation about that. It came out in news reports, but I, I have talked to the manager of newsrooms at Twitter, and they are not phasing hashtags out. Um, I'm confident of that. But like you said, uh, hashtags really are more of a meme. They're more of a way for organizing content and discovering content. And whether it's the pound symbol in front of a keyword, because all it really is is a keyword, right? I don't think that will go away at all. I mean, how would anybody have found Bring Back Our Girls? That was actually part of a statement. It was a quote that um, somebody made, and he went ahead and put the words together and made it a hashtag. Um, I'm not worried about disappearing. I really see myself as being like the Danny Sullivan of like search engine land or something like that. That's what I'll be doing for hashtags.